Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm here with Jeff Johnson, um, LG Sciences uh, featured athlete. What have you been up to, Jeff? Recently, I just won the IPA 220 Pro Division Bench Press Competition, which was held in uh, York, Pennsylvania. Um, Congratulations. This was the award that I received for first place, benching 700 pounds at 220 wow. pounds of body weight. That's incredible. Thank you very much. So, Jeff, there's been a lot of talk in the bodybuilding and powerlifting community about nutrient timing. Can you give me some input on that? Yes. For example, anhydrolic state is a pre-workout that you would take 45 minutes to one hour before your workout. Basics to get your creatine concentrate levels high enough for your pre-workout by separating the creatine and the nitric oxide. So you would be taking the anhydrolic pump 15 minutes prior to workout so you would actually have the, both the effects of the creatine and the nitric oxide before your workouts. Okay, and what would you say your favorite product is? Um, my favorite product basically for pre-workout would be anhydrolic state GT. Okay. And I would use that 45 minutes to an hour on an empty stomach between one to three scoops. Um, and then 15 minutes before my workout, I would use an hydraulic pump, anywhere from one to three scoops. And why would you say that's your favorite product? Um, out of my favorite products, and why I would say that are my favorite products, the taste, um, the concentrated creatine level, it's a high amount of creatine. Um, the arginine in the actual anhydrolic pump, there's actually three different or four different versions of arginine. Plus there's an also a stem uh, geranium extract, which is very nice for my CNS, so it actually does help with the long max effort workout. So what is your favorite component of the anhydrolic state? I would have to say my favorite component would be the actual phytosarm, uh, also known as PSARM, which increases uh, your androgens, which is testosterone. Um, which is very important for bench pressing, power lifting, because the more testosterone, the more aggression, the more positive aggression I have in the gym, allows me to train with you know more max effort weight and a little bit longer of a time. The nice thing about the Peace Arm is, is it's not a cholesterol profile, so basically there's nothing in it that can actually make me fail a drug test, competing in drug tested competitions. Which is important. It's very important. I see that you brought this perfect workout kit. What makes it so perfect, Jeff? Well, the nice thing about the Perfect Workout Kit is that you're actually getting a week supply of all three products. Instead of going through and buying five pound tubs of each product, you've actually got a chance to try all three products before you buy all three of them. So it's saving you a lot of money, plus, as you see, it's a travel size. So if any competitor, bodybuilding, power lifter, or someone that just wants to get to the gym and doesn't want to carry three five pound tubs of the products with them, they can actually take the product with them. It's very easy to pack in a briefcase, gym bag, just store in your car. So it's very convenient to use, and I'm actually getting everything I need for a pre and during and a post-workout. Actually, and it also has a nice sample of the uh, lipotropic chocolate peanut butter protein, so I actually have a sample of protein after. So what sets apart ASGT from other pre-workouts? The nice thing about ASGT is that instead of combining creatine and arginine together, you actually just have a stronger base of creatine. And the nice thing about it is that you also have the peace arm, the estrogen control complex, the adaptogenic complex. Um, you also have fiber. Um, there is a little bit of waxy may starch. And the nice thing is, is you can actually just take one scoop and not feeling like I have to take one scoop one week and then the second week I'm moving up to two and then the third week I'm moving up to three. And it just seems that the actual complex works a lot longer and stronger. And as you build up weeks and months in the training that it never seems that I'm actually having a bad workout. I'm actually getting stronger. Um, I'm working out a little bit longer each day. The weights, PRs are coming along good. So the nice thing about it is, is I'm not starting off with one scoop and heading to three or four or I end up spending more money trying right. to keep up with the concentrated pre-workouts. So I see a lot of pre-workouts that are ultra concentrated. What is your take on that? Really, I just think they're bullshit. I mean, really, can I say that on camera? But to tell you the truth, they're actually using four or five of the ingredients, and they're really not concentrated at all. Um, why am I going to want to take a product that I'm going to start with one and a half scoops and end up taking three or four uh, within a couple weeks? Um, there's not a lot of servings in these concentrated compounds. Um, what they use in the actual ultra concentrated are really not concentrated if you think about it. So if they were actually so high potent and they were so concentrated, why am I using four or five servings when I'm only supposed to be using one to three? So Jeff, what has changed from anhydrolic state compared to the original one? Well, there's a lot that's changed from the old to the new formula. 
they've uh, updated the flavor. Um, they've actually put more servings um, at a lower cost. They've updated um, with a higher creatine concentrate. They've also updated the adaptogenic complex, a more advanced peace arm complex, um, a more advanced and updated stimulant complex, and uh, the estrogen control. So all around, it's a better product. Um, some people did like the other version, um, but this one just seems to be more popular than the older version. Well, Jeff, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for sharing all your information with me. Is there anything else you want to include? Yeah, right now, bodybuilding.com actually just went back in stock, and they're actually having a really good deal. Um, you're actually buying two bottles and getting one free, so it's right around $17 a bottle. So it's pretty much the cheapest place where you could actually find ASGT, but wow. you actually have to grab it pretty fast because it already sold out once and I'm looking forward to sell out again. So do you mind if I actually take this bottle right here? Actually no. This is mine.